Yo, what's up? 104 facts about Beachbot. Let's go. I love cold weather more than hot weather. I like minimalistic home decor and renovation. I like bananas. I bite the inside of my cheek a lot. I have a habit where I stretch my neck a lot. The video idea for today would have been 104 questions with Beachbot, like a, a Vogue parody. I started this massive YouTube video project called 104 Days of B2Bot where every day is different, pretty much. Sometimes I look at someone and then they look at me, but then I don't smile at them and that probably ruins their day because I look so angry! I love me a good joke. <laughs> One of my favorite YouTubers is Moist Critical. I hope I'm your favorite YouTuber. 104 is my dream project. My favorite actor might be Ryan Reynolds. I really like history and science. My favorite math subject was geometry. My favorite musician is Ryan Caraveo. My favorite food is spinach. I want to publish a book one day. <laughs> I want to make some music one day. I want to act in a show on Netflix one day. I want to be really good in a fighting sport one day. My favorite holiday might be New Year's. I really want to see fan art one day. <laughs> it's my dream. I, I just want to see what people do and what people think is like worth their time to draw a beep tweetbot, like anything beep tweetbot related. I, I just, I just think that's so interesting. I am hoping right now that you watch this video all the way through. I hope that you watch all 104 days of Beep2Bot videos. <laughs> I started filming and editing 104 days of Beep2Bot in November of 2020. It took a little less than a month to edit all of 30 days of Beep2Bot. Mm, at the time of this recording, I'm really hoping to make it on Daily Dose of Internet. I already did a video like this before and it was 33 facts about me. So this is the sequel and I have even more hoodies. <laughs> Go watch that one after this one or you know, whatever. There is a Beep Tweet Bot lore and I want people to put a story together. I like hoodies and I have a massive collection. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? I said that fact in the other fact video. And that's a fact. Sorry, Benji, you okay? I like bees. Bees nuts, haha, <laughs> sorry. I write down all of my ideas, whether it be video ideas or anything. I have a digital media degree. I was in a self-defense martial art when I was little. I was in other sports like baseball and soccer. I didn't really get the goal of playing sports like soccer and no pun intended and baseball so I wouldn't be engaged into the game I would just kind of like not be focused and I would play with the dirt and like pick the flowers and stuff when I was like deep in the field I just didn't care I, I don't I don't I didn't understand it enough to care oh and you see us an ad in the background I'm playing Spotify this isn't a fact I'm playing I'm playing Ryan Carvail music because I'm in a Ryan Carvail competition to see who listens to him the most and you can win a prize and stuff I had to turn off for this video for me to record because the other video that I did with the facts was in this spot and I wanted to keep it consistent I don't have Spotify premium <laughs> I tried at soccer but I wasn't really that good I was okay but I, I didn't do super well I, I was pretty good though I there were a few times when I had my golden moments in it or, or something I'm gullible I'm dumb if I were to make an album I would name it vampires Jesus Christ. I feel nice and secure, dude. Where the fuck is my phone? And if I were to make a song, I would name it Partly Cloudy. Money scares me. I licked a salt lamp before. It was really salty. I sometimes think of discovering a new color and winning a Nobel Prize for it. Is it possible to even discover a new color? Anything's possible. Have we discovered new colors? Did we discover all of the colors? I ask a lot of questions. I like badminton. My favorite chips are Funyuns. <coughs> I twist and knot my hair a lot when I'm stressed or thinking. All of the states that I've been in in the US is California, Florida, Texas, Alabama, and Pennsylvania. I've been through Mississippi and Georgia, but those were like connecting to the destinations that I've already been to. I wore nothing but white t-shirts in the whole of year- I wore nothing but white t-shirts throughout the whole year of 2019. I never got one stain on those white t-shirts, man. Throughout the whole year, not one stain. I like wearing jeans, but like at the end of the day, whenever I'm tired and exhausted and I had a long day and I'm like trying to wind down for, for the night, I, I'm, I, I get pissed off all of a sudden at the jeans and I fucking rip them off and I throw them at the ground. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> Another sport that I played in was bowling, and I think I had the most golden moments in that sport. 
I have brown eyes. I have brown hair, but sometimes it looks a little light brown shades in it. Yeah. I'm five foot five or five foot six. Pineapple on pizza is all right. The orange theme for 104 was kind of just an accident. Holy fudge. <laughs> uh, I've eaten bugs before. I know, Benji. I know. What are you, what are you looking at? I've eaten the hottest things on earth before. My leg is asleep. That's not a fact. I mean, that is a fact, but like, whatever, dude. I enjoy listening to Distractable. Markiplier, Bob and Wade's podcast. It's, it's pretty good. It's a good podcast. You, you should listen to it. I recommend it. This bracelet has been on since May of 2021. I don't think it's healthy anymore to have it on. Oh, my leg is so asleep, dude. <laughs> oh, I have written down back when I was little and when people asked me, what do you want to be when you grow up? I told them that I wanted to be an alligator hunter because I loved Steve Irwin. Ow, <laughs> my leg. Oh, we got so many left. Sit back and enjoy, goddammit. Oh, good thing I didn't show my foot because I'm not wearing socks. I told them that I wanted to be an alligator hunter because I love Steve Irwin. And they would always tell me that I would end up changing my mind. And I would say, no, I want to hunt alligators. Look where I am now. I hate being outside and I love making videos inside, goddammit. My favorite superhero is Spider-Man. One time I watched the entire episode one of the Walking Dead Telltale series game with my friends. Oh, yeah. I also watched the entire gameplay walkthrough of Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions and I started on Spider-Man The Edge of Time um, but I didn't finish that. I went to an anime convention years ago and I met the voice of Kid Trunks and she was really cool. Subscribe to Beep Tweet Bot, okay? Like if you're cool. Alexis Tempton. I freaking... Yeah. Heck yeah. I hope I meet her again one day. I love scary YouTube reaction videos. <laughs> Damn, Benji looks like he had like a rough night out. Like, he, he went bar hopping and then, like, you know. <laughs> That's funny to think about. You good, dude? Dude, I really want to do a video with Sam and Colby. Like, if, 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 like, I would go to a scary location with them. Like, yes, I know. Oh, look, there's another ad. <laughs> I don't care. Like, I know what I'm getting myself into. Like, I would go to a scary location. I just want the experience, man. Like, I would go in a heartbeat, bro. I'm saying no grudges against Sam and Colby. Nothing. If I get super scared, no grudges. Nothing, dude. I just want to go there. I'm constantly worrying about 104. Like, if I fall behind on schedule or, like, getting the videos out or something like that. You know, I'm constantly worrying about it. I'm really scared of growing up. Like, being an adult is something that I'm constantly worried about messing up. I'm always worrying about money. I love coconut scented and flavored things. I constantly wonder if aliens exist. Isn't that weird I say wonder instead of worry? Oh my god, why is everybody going live on Twitch right now? At the same time, what is wrong with people? I mean, I guess get your bread. I also constantly wonder about how big the universe is and what it looks like when it's expanding. I've had two pets in my life. One was a golden retriever named Sandy and the other was a Shih Tzu named Maggie. I almost went into the ditch with my car and my mom and dad were, were with me. So here's a little story time. We were leaving to go to my grandma's house. I was driving, my dad was in the backseat, my mom was in the passenger and my dad is a backseat driver. <laughs> Hardcore, man. Hardcore. And, uh, this made him lose his marbles. I was going to get on the road, right? But the ditch is, like, right next to the road in our driveway. It's right between it, and my tire just kind of tilted in it, and the car was tilted into the ditch. It was just the tire end of it, right? And my dad was, like, freaking out, and my mom was like, alright, let me just get us out, and then he got us out, and then I ended up going, you know? I ended up driving anyway. I can't imagine what my dad was feeling or thinking throughout the whole way there. I've recently started started liking reading. I'm scared of getting splinters. I love walkie-talkies. Sometimes I think that PS5s don't even exist. Even though my friend Carson has one. But still, I still think they don't exist because I can never I can never find them in the stores. I really want to get back into painting. I believe in ghosts. I want to read books more often. I've recently started working out again and I'm paying more attention to my diet. If I had a superpower, I would fly. My superhero name would be Vampire. 
I have written down my ultimate attack would be called hot dog maker. It's where I would make some really nice delicious smelling food to distract my opponent and then next thing they know I'm not there and then I would be right next to them but they wouldn't know and then I would uppercut them and grab their head and knee them in the face and then I'd punch them in the face. I'm gonna add something to it and then I would eat the delicious smelling food and it would be like KO or finish or fate Fatality! That's what they would say. I would love to meet Moist Critical one day. That'd be so awesome. Cause like we're like we're like the same height and we wear like kind of the same clothes. You know what I mean? The, I have I had the white t-shirt thing and the, the black pants and the or the black shorts, you know? We're basically the same person. We both have beards. I smell almost everything. <laughs> Okay, when I lower the volume of something, I always have like, okay, let's say it's on 100% and then I lower it down to 50. If it's like 55 or something, I have to put it one more up, be like 56. Because like, for example, right? I don't know if you can see it, right? But it's like high, I lower it a little bit and then I'm like up and I put it one up. I don't know why, it's just like, I don't like it when it's like going down, I just like put it, make it go down, and then make it go one up to make it looks like, look like it's going up. Every time I burp, I have to make a sick beat out of it. <laughs> I love white noise, I could fall asleep to white noise any time of the day. I love drawing. I'm a very warm person, um, all, all of the time, almost. Because like when I give my mom a hug goodbye or a hug hello, she's like, oh you're warm, all the time. All the time! <laughs> <laughs> I have acid reflux. I have ADD. Some of my some of my ancestors are Canadian. I guess I didn't make a beat out of that one, did I? <laughs> I love when the lighting is good for videos. I just looked just now. I don't know if you saw, but like I just looked <laughs> to make sure it's good. If the lighting is good, I could record any time of the day. I could record. If the lighting is good, I'm good. You know what I mean? I can't read. It's hard. I have a tattoo of an X on my wrist and it means like think twice basically. I'm Cajun French and boom that's all 104 facts baby. Come back to this video every day of 104 that is left I guess and be like oh that's the fact that we're on today you know what I mean because there's 104 days and like you know if it's we're on day 95 come back and look at fact 95 number 95. Put in the comments what fact number 95 even is. What is it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it, because, uh, yeah. <coughs> Sorry if I said some of the jo some jokes. <laughs> some of the facts in this video kind of twice. I It's really hard to come up with 104 facts, surprisingly enough, especially for me. I don't know, I'm kind of a boring person, I guess. <laughs> I guess, is that what, that's what that means? I don't know, 104 is a lot, you know what I mean? Especially when you're just constantly making videos and you have really nothing else going on. Oh, there's another ad right there on the TV. <laughs> yeah, I may have said the same fact in this video as I did in the last video as well. And, you know, like I said, same two facts uh, that are the same in this video. I don't know. It's just, it's really hard to come up with some. I'm not sure if I have. Did the best I could to not have duplicates in either video or in the same video. I hope that this video was somewhat enjoyable. I didn't change hoodies as much as I wanted. It's just... I think that the mountain of hoodies that are on top of me is kind of good enough, I guess. And the, I have a bunch of hats too and bandanas. I just have overall a good amount of each one of them. I have, an, I have another hoodie coming in as well, a distractible hoodie. <laughs> I probably should have saved it for then because I think it's coming in tomorrow. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Say bye, guys. Bye, everybody. Subscribe. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. And I'm having so much fun in, uh, recording these videos. And I hope you're enjoying watching them. 104 is almost over. The end hype. You know how we had 69, day 69 hype? Pause. You know how we had day 69 hype? This is the end hype. My leg is asleep again. Oh my god, it's so bad. Oh, I can't even feel it. I can't even feel it. <sighs> ah, I can't even move it! Fudge! Ah! <laughs> I, I don't know, I've been kind of lazy lately. It's been a little bit since I've edited. I mean, like, I've been editing, messing around on, uh, like, downloading songs and seeing what they sound like sped up and, you know, slowed down and reverbed and stuff. And it's pretty cool. Uh, it's been, it's been pretty slow. I haven't made, like, a 104 video, you know what I mean? I've just kind of been editing stuff, like, the music or something, and, like, recording and writing down ideas, writing down scripts for stuff. And, yeah, this is the kind of the first video that I've started recording again. And, uh, I'm 
uh, I, I just can't wait to get back into it. I can't see why I ever wanted to take a little bit of a break. At the time of recording this, it is February 23rd and 104 is set to go out June 1st and a little bit before that, you know, some things to I have to do before and a little bit after and I'm getting a little nervous and this is my 70th video. 70. That's actually surprising. Now that I hit that milestone, I don't know how I ever managed to take a little bit of a break. Yeah, it, this video made no sense at first because I just got right into it, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm doing the intro and outro in the outro. <laughs> so, like, yeah, dude. Benji and Binya missed y'all. Yeah, man. I, yeah, I'm really nervous. I'm really nervous. It's closing in. February is a short month. So all I got, if you think about it, is March, April, and May is go time, pretty much. And then June, everything just starts and I'm really nervous. I hope it went well. <laughs> I hope it went well. If you guys have a dream or something, chase it, man. Chase it. You know, don't don't just sit aside and, and for the love of God, don't bring others down. For the love of God, don't bring others down. Just chase your dream, worry about you, and have fun. Just have fun. Anything else I want to ramble on about? I don't know. Just keep breathing, man. I'm done rambling, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with day 92. I'm gonna tell you what day 92 is. Let me see. 92 is supposed to be what's in the box challenge. If it's not, things worked out differently, like I always say. Hell yeah. I'm gonna get that on a merch thing, man. Should I do merch? If I haven't done it already, should I do it again? Or should I start doing it if I didn't do it ever? Let me know in the comments below. Also tell me what day number, I mean fact number 95 was. Is that the number that I said? I don't know. Okay, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Look at this. Holy cow. That is so many hoodies. I just thought I, that, that I would add this into the video. It came in. It came in just today. <laughs> It was a few hours after I filmed the video. There we go. It's in. <laughs> I was a bit nervous whether or not if it would fit me. I think it does. So I think it. I think it's fine. It's a little tight around my waist. See, it's a little bit tight, but I think that's how it's supposed to be. Oh, and uh, you read this, you follow the directions. But yeah, I just think that's how it's supposed to be, right? The size does kind of run small, a little bit small. That's just for your information, so yeah. Okay, bye for real now. <laughs> Hello, it's me again. I think I'm wrong, because I got a medium and it's small and I usually wear larges. So if you usually wear a large hoodie, just get a large hoodie, right? Because I was doing the measurements and like the stupid dummy I am, I got a medium and I thought that the sizes ran larger than usual, you know what I mean? But yeah, just get a large if you usually wear a large, okay? Bye, goddammit. Beep tweet bot.